Welcome back to the Z Monster channel. And yes, it is uh, mid to near the end of February, and we are getting ready for garden startup for the year 2022. <laughs> Wanted to show you what we're uh, what we're working with. Uh, we were actually blessed this year, or late last year, with a load of uh, chicken manure from a local chicken uh, hatchery place. And uh, we had a guy come drop some off, and we layered it in with a whole bunch of leaves. So, leaves, poop, leaves, poop, leaves, poop, <laughs> so that we can compost it up. We're not going to be using it this year. We had, it all has to break down, but you can see how it's getting really dark already. Uh, we had that same guy came back with his tractor and and scooped it and stirred it up for us. And uh, maybe in another week or two, we'll have him come and scoop it back the other way and uh, get it all nice and stirred up uh, we did have some compost that we had from last year as well that is what we're actually putting in the garden uh, over here next to this bag here we have uh, compost that is still uh, working this is cow manure where the other pile was chicken manure but uh, we're going to get right into the garden stuff here we have uh, rototilled this half and this or this quarter and this quarter of it the half i guess would be farther over and uh my wife has already made rows here and uh gotten some uh wood chips down in between here in the walkways which we also got for free when some people came out and uh, cut up a tree in our neighborhood we asked them hey can you just dump the wood chips in our yard and they said sure we don't have to take it to the dump so free stuff there uh, but these are all ready to be planted there's nothing planted in there now along the fence line here we can see we got some some damage <laughs> but uh, we have broccoli and broccoli and over here you can actually see the broccolis which is even cooler there's actual broccolis growing in here that's right now these have been growing uh, through the winter we just keep covering them with plastic and containers and stuff uh, all these here are prepped. All these rows here that you can see here underneath the plastic, they're all prepped. Uh, we don't have anything planted in all of them yet. Along this fence line here, we're going to be having, we're going to be having, I don't even know if that's proper English. We will be planting the uh, pickling cucumbers along this fence line here this year. Uh, we're going to be uh, canning some more pickles. We're down to our last jar of those. So we have to go ahead and do that. As you can remember, this is our asparagus uh, box here. And it's just covered with leaves right now, but there is still asparagus in there. And once it's ready, it'll, it, it'll grow. <laughs> uh, this is one of our strawberry boxes here, but we have uh, lettuce growing in it from uh, the winter. And uh, it's still growing, so we're not going to remove it. Uh, we did remove all of the strawberries from the other box that were uh, several years old and they weren't really producing super well but we did replant them over here in these rows now we made we rototilled half of this area here we are going to do the other half uh, later but we wanted to get the strawberries in the ground because we had somebody else give us a bunch of strawberry plants and uh we didn't want to put them into the box. We're going to actually buy new ones and put in this in the box here that do the larger strawberries, but, you know, fewer times. These, all of these ones here produce the, the smaller strawberries, but it does it more often, if that makes sense to you. I, I don't know what the, the, uh, the types are other than one makes big ones, one makes a whole bunch of small ones throughout the season kind of thing. And I think there's actually a third variety too, but, uh, uh, well, that's what we have here and uh, you can see we've got we uh, transplanted all of them uh, when we got them they said there was a couple several hundred plants but when we we uh, had to clean them all up get all the dead uh, dead leaves and everything off of them so we uh, made the rows put down some compost put down some special stuff inside each of the holes when we rebit when we buried uh, all of the strawberry plants uh, saturated them pretty good with water and then now we're, we're just going to wait and see uh, if they're going to take good 
they all look like they're standing up for the most part uh, nothing's laying over like it didn't uh, didn't uh, stay too happy so they look all right from uh, this perspective um, there's a couple that kind of look a little weirder here but uh, yeah I don't see anything bad I mean there's one there it has a flower on it from before but all the clumps here look decent and we just have some old pine we have pine trees on the property so we rake that up and we put that inside all the uh the walkways here to keep down the weeds as you all know that's the best thing and uh yeah these are all little clumps of ones here now these were all ones that we got from the other person uh and then starting about here are the clumps of ones that we took out of the original box so we have all that going for us now over here we've got we've got uh i believe it's garlic but it could be onions <laughs> could be leeks for all i know also uh cilantro and parsley is growing in this box here which is also a compost bin but it just they're just happy in there so once we uh, get all this stuff out of there it's actually compost that we can use somewhere else in the garden too like i said we got a mess in here because we're in the processes of of uh, getting the garden ready for the year uh, these will all be moved and this area is going to be rototilled down as well we cut back our fig tree a lot this year and uh, uh, we're going to try and see if that'll help the blueberries we're going to bring the blueberry plants farther this way and probably buy a couple of different ones and bring them farther this way as well and see if they that'll help because we think the blueberries weren't producing very much because the fig tree here got so large it was blocking the sun which is up in this direction here from uh, getting to them so i don't know we're going to try everything we can but uh all right this is uh garlic patch here lots of garlic lots of garlic lots of garlic and uh this was where we had some of the other uh, peppers and uh lettuce starter plants more garlic more garlic more garlic more garlic all the little baby garlics you can see in there and these are all from last season as well so we're gonna hopefully do something with that now this <laughs> just started growing here all on its own now out here we had a tree that was a date tree that didn't want to grow except for grow the spiky the spiky branches which i'll show you here really close so you can see um that is ow that is a spike i don't know if you can see it on my finger that's a spike and it has them all up and down here and it's to protect the plant from being eaten by deer and other things but this one decided to start growing in the middle of the garden so i don't know if a root came from where the other one was that wasn't producing any fruit and decided to come over here or what but it's growing here so we're deciding whether we want to let it continue to grow or if we're going to end up pulling it out because if we let it grow here it's definitely going to tear up the uh, brick line that we have right here which is neither here nor there but it is two different elevations between here and there so that's why we have the brick line because of the, the different uh, way we did the soils uh, this was the original parts of the garden over here and then this was an addition that we added once uh, we moved in over here but uh, yeah you can see here we have all of these areas here are ready to be planted we have the starter plants going inside the house and on the back deck so they can go in and out so we can get some sun and stuff uh, like i said the uh, lemongrass that's got to go <laughs> before it overgrows more uh, we cut back the fig tree a lot up here a lot of these other ones we're probably gonna have to cut back so it stays off the fence we cut back these two larger um branches off of it or stalks out off of it i guess that's a, the main <laughs> the main ones uh because they were leaning up against the fence and pushing the fence out and uh, we don't want to do that we, we eventually are going to probably have to remove this one because it is going to get it could possibly get big enough to where it, it'll block uh, other stuff in the garden up there because this did get pretty big last year as compared to the other ones that are outside the fence uh, we still have our uh, grapes out here these are our muscadines or seeded grapes and seeded grapes these are our seedless grapes and we uh, didn't pick any grapes last year 
as you can remember, we had those bugs were just eating away at the leaves, which made the sun come through and get onto the grapes and just dried them out really quick. But uh, I am going to come out here and we're going to trim this one back again and this one back again, or we'll actually possibly remove these two um, uh, because I don't eat these. My wife does, but she doesn't eat a lot of grapes. But uh, the grape, the seedless ones, I do want to continue to grow, but we can't have them just going all any way they want. So you actually have to trim these back and get them going up. And if we can get them to train them to go up and around and over, that'll be great. Uh, again, we don't have anything else growing over here yet. We're going to be uh, rototilling this area up as soon as we decide. Uh, I don't think we're going to be growing any uh, watermelons or other melons this year in this part of the garden. So that's not going to be a big problem. Out here, uh, we got the three different types of, or three fig trees. Two of them are the same and one is different. One's actually a... The, we took a, a branch off of one of these to, and planted it in the garden, and that's where that other big tree came from. So I don't know why these didn't get big, but the one in the garden is huge. I guess the soil's better. Maybe the sun is not getting through onto these as much. Don't know. But uh, uh, we were worried about encroachment from the uh, rest of the yard. But as you can remember, we also had the yard uh, mulched all the way back up to the, the uh, creek that runs through there. Uh, I had to finish cutting down the rest of this tree here. My, I was cutting it down. The chain came off my chainsaw. And, uh, yeah, so we got to get to that. But, uh, yeah, we've got uh, other uh, spices and things growing, herbs and things growing in the flower beds outside of the, uh, the bedroom window again this year as well. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to have a, a really good year. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more canning as well, so stay tuned for those videos as uh, the year progresses. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. As always, we will talk to you later.